Do you notice the world falling apart? Are you tired of the lies and deception? If so, then welcome to my channel where we expose the lies and uncover the truth, helping you get ready for what's coming in the world and helping you get prepared now. Welcome to All Day Everyday Preparedness. Do you often feel like your life is chaotic? Do you find yourself constantly trying to be productive? Or do you find that there seems just to not be enough time in the day? There's nothing wrong with being an early riser or staying up late and getting work done in the wee hours of the night. But trust me, to really be able to enjoy your life, there has to be balance. And the slow living lifestyle that I'm about to talk about is all about finding that right balance. So maybe it's time to slow down and start practicing slow living. In this video, I'm going to talk about three reasons why you should consider this lifestyle. First, slow living is all about prioritizing what's important. In today's world, especially as preppers, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle and forget about what really matters. By slowing down and taking time to identify your values or what's important to you, you can make choices that align with the things that matter most to you. Now, I know that being prepared can be a never-ending cycle, or trying to keep up with the breaking news can get to be a drag sometimes, but identifying what really matters to you will lead to a more fulfilling life that is aligned with your values and ultimately lead to a great happiness and well-being now with everything else going on in the world like food shortages inflation job cuts and the Chinese spy balloons I don't believe that guys I just don't buy it but let me know what you think about that in the comments okay guys back to this topic so with all that's going on in the world you can see that it's easy to get burnt out not just from prepping and preparedness but just life in general so the slow living lifestyle may be exactly what you need in your life right now now, tip number two, slow living helps you appreciate the present. It's all about savoring the little moments in life instead of constantly rushing from one task to the next. Now, you can practice slow living by carving out time for activities that bring you back to the present moment. Now, whether it's a hobby or spending time with your loved ones, for example, preparedness and prepping is important, as we know, but it's also equally important to slow down and really take an account or take an inventory of how you're spending your time each day. I mean, are you spending too much time worrying about the breaking news stories when you could be reading your child a bedtime story or spending some time with your spouse? So balance and prioritization of how you're spending your time is key. Okay, slow living tip number three is that slow living encourages you to simplify your life. Now, by decluttering your calendar and finding ways to simplify your day-to-day -day activities, you can create more space in your life for the things that matter most. Now, this is going to lead to a more sustainable and balanced approach to life. Now, with all the things, again, that's happening in the world right now, it's nearly impossible to stay on top of all of them. And better yet, it probably isn't really that healthy, guys, to try and consume everything that's happening around the world. Now, at the same time, we know that most of the things that are happening are planned. In fact, most of these things have been planned for years. Now, on the other hand, many things that are happening also are biblical prophecies as well. So either way, we can't change any of those things by worrying about them. Now, we get prepared the best that we can, and then we continue to live our lives. Now, another great benefit of slow living is that slow living helps you be more mindful. See, it encourages you to be present in the current moment and be aware of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Now, this can lead to greater self-awareness and ultimately lead to more personal growth. Now, my final tip to sum this up, guys, is that slow living can help you build deeper relationships. By prioritizing what's important and taking time to appreciate the present, you can build stronger connections with the people in your life. This is going to ultimately lead to a more meaningful and fulfilled life. So in conclusion, guys, slow living is a lifestyle that emphasizes a slower, more mindful and intentional approach to life. It's all about taking into account the things that really matter. So it's intentional living. So by prioritizing what's important, appreciating the present, simplifying your life, being more mindful and building deeper relationships, guys, you can create a life that is aligned with your values and ultimately lead to greater happiness and well-being. So slow down out there, guys, and start living more intentional and by fulfilling life by slow living. But I want to thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Continue to prepare and as always, be blessed.